Hello. Welcome. And thank you for the thumbs up already. <laughs> and that wasn't me giving myself one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How are you this evening? I'm getting caught on my cords here. A cup of sip tea while I'm waiting. Hello, hello, hello. Woo, we went to four. Yay, hello. Welcome. Were you ready to make some cards? Hi, Paige. How are you this fine, what is this, Tuesday? <laughs> Hi, Philomena. Hi, G. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So did you all see I put a, um, hi, Debbie, how are you doing? I put a um, poll out in my community. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out and do the poll for me, please. I'd appreciate it. It was announcing the live tonight, but it also had a, a poll on the time. What's best for you guys? Still Tuesday. I want to stick with Tuesday, but um I don't know. There's too many other lives going on Tuesday, so I want to see what time works best for you all. And I'll see if I can adjust it. Okay, well, I'm going to jump right in. I have three cards, but depending on how I feel, we might play around a little bit at the end. We'll see. Um, so, first announcement. You have to sign up for Paper Pumpkin by March 10th to get this special box. And this cute kit called No Matter the Weather. And I just have a sneaking suspicion it's going to coordinate beautifully with this Pleased is Punch designer series paper that's available now for purchase um, through March 31st while supplies last. Um, not all the colors, I don't think, coordinate. But the other side of that has umbrellas and petal pink and pool party coordinate. Isn't that pretty? I just love that paper. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Philomena. Yay, I'm glad you got it. Wow, that took a little while, huh? Snail mail for sure. <laughs> so anyway, it's $22 plus tax. Shipping is free. You can suspend for a month and come back. You can cancel any time. But if you want the special box, which is supposed to make 12 cards, and I think... They are note card size, but don't hold me to that. Let me see if I can tell. No, they are A2 size cards. Uh, let me make sure I'm reading the right description. Nope, I'm sorry. That's February kit. I'm not sure about the March kit, um, but it just says 12 cards. Usually when they give us that many, they're like note card size, so I'm not sure. But look at the little rain boots. Aren't they cute? And this clouds and everything. I can't wait to see what's in that one. I liked the last one. I liked February's a lot. Hi, Clay. Um, so, and if you prepay for three months, six months, or 12 months, you would be eligible for a celebration item. Now, shipping is not free with the pre-orders because they go in on the Stampin' Up. But the savings, especially for the six and 12 months, make up for it. So basically, with the six months, you save a dollar a month, and with the 12 month, you get one month free. Like the 12th month is free. So you do save quite a lot, and it's the best time to pre order because of celebration and being able to get free items. So I want to go through a couple things. We're going to be using the Parisian Blossoms Specialty Designers paper tonight, but we already used before the Parisian Beauty Bundle. We're, tonight we're going to use the Forever Blossoms Bundle. And also the rhinestones, which are currently not orderable. And the Petal Pink Metallic Edge Ribbon, which is currently not orderable. But they, um, because they're in the mini catalog, they'll probably come back, but not probably before the end of um, Celebration. I'm not sure. I think they, some of them said mid-March and some said... Um, April something, but they're not taking back orders for those 
ones I'm saying are not available. Um, so this is what we're going to be using tonight, Forever Blossoms. Really pretty. We're going to make two cards with this bundle. And then we're also going to make a card with the celebration stamp set called Thoughtful Blooms. Hi, Brandy. Uh-oh. And we will use the Small Bloom Punch also. They're both in the original celebration. And as far as I can tell, they're still both available. But... Something else did sell out of Celebration. So remember, last week I said, this. now this one's mine, but I have one that hasn't been used at all. Um, this sold out, but I have an extra one. So the first person that places a $50 order with me will get it. It's still up for grabs, guys. Now, sadly, I don't have an extra one of these, and I'm not willing to part with this just. <laughs> This one, um, the kerchief card kit is also not, no longer available. It is sold out. So that's what happens in these celebration things. You know, they get so many popular ones and then they sell out of them. Which one, the Thoughtful Blooms or the Forever Blossoms page? Forever Blossoms. I think it's beautiful with the cherry blossoms and things. So we're going to use that. And that goes with the... Parisian paper we're going to use let's see we're going to use this one on the second card and you'll have to wait and see the first one because I don't have it handy <laughs> um, so now um, we're also going to be using the so very vanillum special very vanillum do you hear that? I always have vanilla on the mind don't I <laughs> So very vellum specialty designer series paper that will be available as a celebration item starting March 3rd. And I have it here to show you it's pool party. Highland Heather, I think, or is it? Nope. Purple posy. I'm wrong. Purple posy. I thought it looked a little more pink than Highland Heather. And one other color, which is soft sea foam like that so we're going to be using pool party on the first card that'll be available march 3rd which is not tomorrow but the wednesday after that yeah the paper's real the vellum's pretty everything's pretty <laughs> um now also in the sale in the mini catalog the honeybee couple things are on back order Grace's Garden Bundle. So if you had your heart set on that, it's not in the not orderable. It's just on back order. The Bonanza Buddies, the one I've used for the tags on the 10th with the little koala and all that, that's on back order currently. And the Painted Poppies Bundle, which is, there's two bundles in the, in the poppies. And the one that's on back order, I will show you. I think that's after this. Mm, yeah. is the one that has the swirly thing but it has the stamps with the poppies on it and the elements and I think the sequins are also on back order and the whisper white seam binding is on back order as well so yeah a lot a couple of the ribbons went on back order they've been really popular especially that seam binding the daffodil delight one and one that we're going to use tonight which is this petal pink champagne metallic edge which is really pretty okay so let me see is there anything else okay the celebration product release on the website this is not under celebration it's under coordination product release in the left hand margin of the website if you're looking for it um so these are the dies that go with some of the celebration items or that beautiful paper I just showed you with the umbrellas and everything. That's available for purchase now. And that is $11.50. It's called Pleased as Punch because it coordinates with the punches. So like this one coordinates with the Thoughtful Blooms punch. And then I've shown this before, but the hearts coordinate with the heartfelt bundle Um punch duo the tulips coordinate with the tulip punch which i haven't used uh, that with you yet and where is it the umbrellas coordinate with the umbrella punch 
which I'll be using soon, but not tonight. So that's what that's why that's called Please with Punch. It's really pretty spring colors. Love it. Excuse me, that's available now. Let me see. Paige says the vellum looks shimmery. Um let me get a piece of white paper to stick under it. It's not well, a little bit. It's a little bit shimmery. Yeah, it does sort of have a sheen to it. Yeah, and it is, of course, darker on one side and more, more shimmery on one side and plain on the other. And then, of course, it's got raised dots on this side. Almost like, you know, Braille kind of thing. But the other side, it's, of course, then the indent side or it feels more smooth, I guess is how I should put it. So really pretty, 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 pretty. All righty. I think that's it. Uh, uh, well, one more thing. If you are interested in ordering anything through me, February host code, I remember to write it down, is right here if you can read it, 9RTE3BRA. And that will only be good through February 29th, after which I'll set a new one. So that is that. And I think... Those are all my announcements for the moment. And let's get started. Any questions? Yeah, the vellum's really pretty. I might have to get another pack of that. And I don't know. I'm on a budget. <laughs> I'm on a budget. All right. So we'll bring in our Forever Blossoms. Let me move this up here. I had to put another piece of white paper on here because I've been stamping off and kind of gotten dirty and I didn't want it to look so bad. So the first card we're going to do, let me bring that in. We'll use the vellum. It's this. Um, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so I have a piece of the designer series Parisian Blossoms paper in the background and it's real faint with pool party on it. Well, I can show you better here. Hang on. There's the paper. So, but actually, this one, I'm going to use it anyway because I cut it wrong. The pattern goes like this. So, this one is correct with the leaves and the blossoms going up. But it's a real pale pool party with pool party darker on it. The reverse side is the scripty with the champagne, Paris words, bonjour, and all that stuff. So, we're going to use that. And then over it is the vellum, like that. And then we're going to stamp this, which I don't know if I brought out an extra piece of paper. Did I? Yeah, well, I'll get one. We'll use the one for the inside. If it'll fit. Yep. <laughs> and then I'll just get another one for the inside. Thank you, Brandy. And then we'll stamp, you mean so much to me. That's out of the same Forever Blossoms. Um, it's right here, stamp set, and we're just going to back that on some pool party and bump it up on dimensionals after we color this. So this I stamped in tuxedo black, and I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I, I'm going to do it again because I think it makes it pop a little bit, bit against all the, the blue. Uh, and I did use some um, polka dot ribbon down here. And just wrapped it around. And then I did one of those things I learned from Paige, which is a ribbon knot. And just tucked that onto the stem of the flower there, right in the corner here. And then these are actually Coastal Cabana, but they work. So we're going to use them too. Okay, let's get started. I have to find my tuxedo black. <laughs> Hi, Alicia Newman. 34. Welcome. How are you? So we're just going to, I think I'm probably going to have to re-ink my stamp. No, I guess it's still got some. I might have got that too dark there now. It's okay if it's not too, too dark because um, we're going to color it with pale colors. And this, I don't need a rubber, uh, a piercing mat under it this time because 
it's a rubber stamp. Beautiful. See how clear? Let me get my tea out of the way. My phone out of the way, which I did remember to turn down <laughs> all the way. I am wonderful. Thank you. Had a, a good couple days, I guess. Productive couple days, <laughs> which I need to do because I'm behind in everything. Okay, so we're going to bring in light and dark petal pink Stampin' Blends and light and dark Old Olive. And that is it. And maybe some Wink Estella. So we're going to use the dark petal pink first. And I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to use the brush end. I like the brush end better. Unless it's a small area. I'm just going to do the tips and down all the... Where the black areas are on here. And up a little bit from them. Um, on these petals. This might take me a couple minutes, <laughs> but I'm not going to color in the whole petal with the dark for sure. I might not color in the whole petal with the light either, but we will blend it a little bit. So I'm so goofy on the first one. I thought, let's see which one. You can't tell now because I fixed it. But one of these, I think two of these I thought were leaves. Yeah, so I started doing them with old out. I'm like, oh, you goof. <laughs> but I, I did my um, eraser pen thing and it worked pretty good. And then I went over them with the petal pink. You can't even tell. <laughs> Hi, Lisa Shireman. Welcome. We have some new names here tonight. Thank you for joining us. I might want to ask, how did you find me? <laughs> Just curious. But you're all welcome. Now, I am not an expert colorer. I've said that many times, but I really like coloring with blends because it's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Takes the guesswork out for you. All right. We're going to do these buds, too, with the dark. And these, and I'm just going to color those all the way in because buds to me are darker because they haven't fully opened yet, right? And did I miss one? Nope. Okay, so then we'll take the light and we'll just blend it around a little bit. But maybe not all the way. Because I want a little bit of white to be in there. And we're going to use Wink Estella. And that will actually blend it a little more even. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Yay. Hi, Simply Annie. <laughs> Beading and crafting. Yep. Annie makes jewelry too. Like I do and like Brandy does. And some others probably on here. Oh, clay does too. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on the flowers. So now we're going to do the leaves. And same thing, we're going to use the dark. Now I will use the the um, bullet end for the for these. I think it gives me just a little bit more control, especially around these petals here. Like, But I might switch to the tip end to go down the stems because it's a little bit finer than the bullet point. Um, so we'll see how I do. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> I'm just going to outline it, actually. 
which will probably spread a little bit. A lot of shading on the leaves already. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll look up in a minute to look at chat. Yeah, so call me Crafty Owl. So was that that was the announcement for the um, sheet load of cards, I guess. That'll be March 2nd coming up. Yeah, there's a lot of us in that. Well, not a lot, a lot, but there's a lot on YouTube and Instagram and um, uh, blogs. You purchased a big shot plus woohoo. Yay. I'm gonna be hooked on paper like the rest of us too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Paper. Pretty papers. Weakness. For sure weakness. Pretty beads also a weakness. Jewelry in general for me is a weakness. And I don't have any on tonight. Well, I have earrings in. That's about it. I was going to put a ring on, but then I thought, you know, if, I'm, if I get into creative stuff, eh, I better use the bullet tip. Um, I don't want it to get messed up, so I didn't. But I'm not sure we'll get to the creative stuff tonight. I'm going to put a little green up these blossoms because you know they have the green petals sometimes around the bottom of them right i mean the leaves all right so i know this is like paint watching paint dry but it's okay this probably is the thing that'll take the longest tonight so bear with me I'm going to do a little bit more there. Okay. Now we'll get the Wink of Stella. Thank you. I'm just going to do this and it'll help blend in. See, it's not real full. My Wink of Stella. It's funny, I said that the other day and then I went to use it again and it like, wow, there's still some left in there, but it's coming out, but you can barely, barely tell. Yep, it's coming out. And that just helps, oops, a little something there. That just helps blend it out a little bit too. And then I have to die cut this. So I will show you the die cuts. Now I'm not going to do the leaves. I'll put these away, otherwise I run out of room. <laughs> Full-fledged paper crafter. Yeah. I tell you, once you start, it's hard to stop. Right, everybody else? <laughs> yeah, sheet loads. I do, too. That's why I requested to be on her team for that. Okay, so this is going to fit. I think on the other one, I had to trim just a little bit off. So I'm going to take this, turn around, take this to my die cutting machine. And I will be right with you. I have a magnetic platform on, so it helps, but not always exactly perfect it's pretty good all right all righty that should do it and here we go and voila <laughs> voila pretty huh I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom because I got it a little over um, 
on the edge here and just that drives me a little nuts the rest of the leaves look pretty good except this this bottom right here and if you know if you watch me at all you know i'm not big on fussy cutting but i do it on occasion And I think that'll do it. Just that little bit. Okay, so let's get our card stuff together here. And now we have to do some more stamping first. Hang on. I have this little strip of Whisper White. And I have this little strip of Pool Party. Right now they're the same size. So I might need a bigger piece of Pool Party. And I think I have my sentiment already out here somewhere. Oh, gosh. Here it is. I found it. And we're going to do that in black. Nope. Haven't heard of thing, Paige. I guess we'll probably get an update in May. I hope. Um, you know, when we hear more about the annual catalog. And you know what? It's up a little bit, but I'm going to leave it like that because I think I'm going to try and trim just a little bit off of that so that I can fit it on that pool party piece. So let me first just snip it. And I'm going to make that flat on this side. Let's see, I want to be about there. My dirty non Stampin' Up scissors, sorry. <laughs> Because I don't use my Stampin' Up! ones for um, paper. I use them for only ribbon. Let's see if I can do it up here. I'm going to line it up to about an eight there. I think that'll work. Ta-da! A little bit crooked, but not bad. So I think now... That should fit on here. But before I do that, I have to snip the end just a little bit and then flag it. I probably shouldn't have snipped that much. Oh well. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Glue, glue, glue. I'm going to use my Tombow. Because I must use this stuff like water because I think this fairly new bottle is getting low on me already. <laughs> you could use um, glue dots or snail, but the snail's a little wider than this strip, so I, I didn't want to use that. All right, I'm going to leave a little bit at that side. And I'm going to put just a little bit, oops, just a little bit. I got it. it slid on me. Did you see it slide? I saw it slide. Okay. Just a little bit on this end. There we go. And I got it crooked. There we go. And then we'll flag this end too. Um, And you can use the thoughtful banner, or not thoughtful banner, um, triple banner punch. But for this little piece, I'm just going to do it myself. Let's see, I have to do this one a little more. This one a little more. <laughs> that should be in the middle. Yep. You know me who can't cut a straight line, right? Yep. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to assemble. Now this is an A2 card, whisper white thick. Cut, you know, five and a half inch this way, eight and a half inch this way. Scored it four and a quarter here. And this is the standard mat that I do usually. Oh, actually, this one is side. Oh, that's right. This one's sideways. The other one's right. Um, but it's going to be covered anyway. 
So this is five and a quarter this way by four. I don't know, Lisa, um, what they're going to come out with. Contraband, my scissors, you mean? <laughs> yeah. I need another pair of Stampin' Up! Snips. I actually do really like them. Um, but I reserve mine for definitely for ribbon because these I get all gunky and they still cut pretty good for paper but I don't want to dull them I don't want to use them on ribbon they don't cut ribbon at all anymore so I don't use them for that okay now vellum is a little bit tricky I'm going to put it this way because I used I use glue dots actually because I feel like they don't show as much and they hold it down. You could probably use snail. I would not recommend wet glue. Um, and somebody, I think it was Clay, told me before that there is, um, you know, let me make sure, yep, um, a glue specifically for vellum, but I don't have that. So we're going with what we have, glue dots. Okay, and we're going to put about seven on, and I'm trying to get them on the, behind the little bubbles. Now, a lot of it will be covered anyway, so it won't matter that much, but I figured if it's on a bubble, it might just look like the bubbles splatted out or something a little bit. <laughs> That's my reasoning, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm just putting them on the four corners, and two on the middle sides and then one smack in the middle so any other suggestions are welcome on how to do vellum but that's how i do it now we're just going to put that down centered as best we can there we go pretty and you can still see the pattern through it slightly but just add some texture, sort of like running through an embossing folder, but it's already done for you. Now we're, oh goodness. See, this is Deb. This is Deb. I didn't put my ribbon on. Well, that we'll have to snail down, I guess. Let's see, about here. Yep, we will have to snail that. I think the other one I wrapped it around and I want it across the whole front. Okay, that should work. See, now I'll get my Stampin' Up! ones out. Now, this ribbon's in the annual catalog. It's the Tool Polka Dot Ribbon, which I use quite often. And I'm not re worried about being snailed down because I'm going to do a ribbon knot instead of a bow on it. If that's sticky at all, it's not feeling sticky through to me, but if it feels sticky through to you, you can just use your embossing buddy and dab over it a little bit, and that'll take the sticky right off. Okay, now we're going to use dimensionals on this. And I guess I'm going to try and use up some of this. This is my mini dimensional sheet, but I've cut the edges <laughs> so I can use the edges because I'm... Um, getting low I ran out of the minis but I, well, I have more but I just didn't get them out and let's see we have some smaller ones over here and I use more than some people do but especially on a flower like this because you don't want the the petals and stuff getting caught you know when going in and out of the envelope or something and besides these are just the edges anyway that I'm using so it's all good right <laughs> Looks like a puzzle. Yeah, I do too. I love that ribbon. And you can tell because look at the spool. It's like down, <laughs> down pretty far. I have another one. I just, I haven't opened it yet, but I hope they carry that over again. All right, I did those. And we shall see. In May, we'll find out. So, that's another thing 
right now, if you are interested in getting a discount and becoming a hobby demonstrator or a regular demonstrator, um, this time of year in celebration is the absolute best time to join because you not only get your normal kit for $99 and get $125 worth of free product, you also get this cute little guillotine trimmer, which I do love for cutting, you know, little snips or if you already have a big piece of cardstock cut and you need to cut edges off or trim it or whatever, it's great for that. Um, you also get a pack of 48 pieces of designer series paper, like a sampling of the mini catalog and some of celebration papers, and you get a free stamp set of your choice. So it's the best time in Stampin' Up! to join Stampin' Up! Okay, so now let's do our, I need that ribbon back. Let's do our little tiny ribbon bow. And this, this ribbon though, you don't need as much as you think because it stretches, but you need enough to be able to tie a knot to pull, right? There we go. See, look how long it stretched out already. <laughs> and then I'm just going to snip it pretty small. Did I get them even? No, this one has an extra. And I like it also because the dots are sort of angled, so you can kind of tell where to, you know, how to angle the cut. All right, I'm just going to bring in another glue dot, and I'm going to put that right on that stem down there at the bottom. Down at the bottom here, just above the stem. And then play with it. Play, play. I think I put it on upside down, actually. But, oh, well. There. And actually, because I had some of um, the um, snail under there, it, the end's actually stuck on, too. <laughs> That's okay. That's cool. All right. I need those things back again, too. I'll use regular dimensionals, maybe, on this. Let's see if they'll fit. Yes. Except on the flag end, because that's going to go overlapping on the flower. Because um, it's going to go right about here in that gap area there. And put a little glue on that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Yeah, it is a cute little trimmer. <laughs> and you can't buy it. You can only get it by joining Stampin' Up! So if anybody is interested, my email's always down below the, I just realized something, um, down below in the description, sort of down towards the bottom, as is my link to shop with me on my Stampin' Up! web page, web portal page, whatever it is. Okay, did I get that? Still didn't, yeah, that's good, okay. Now we're missing one more thing, and that is rhinestones. I'm using these holiday rhinestone basic jewels, which carried over online. And I'm this color is actually Coastal Cabana, but looks all right to me on this card. So like it goes with the pool party. So we're going to go ahead and put some of those on. Sparkle it up a li little more. And then just a little one over here, actually. Hmm. I don't like it there this time. I think we'll put it down here. Somewhere down here. Now, sometimes, especially with the pearls, I find, I use a little dab of glue to put them down. But I don't want to do that on the vellum. So, But with the pearls, I do find they come off easier. And you should just use a little fine dot of glue under them and it'll help hold them on better in the mailing process. So that is the outside of the card. And then here's what I did on the inside, but I need to cut another piece of Whisper White. I just used 
which I guess I didn't cut. Another piece of designer paper. Oh, I changed my mind. I didn't have another piece that big and I didn't want to cut into it. So we're just going to use a piece of pool party on the inside. But I need a piece of whisper white. So let me cut that. Sorry. I think I used it for something else. Already. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Philomena and Paige. Alrighty. So, guys, I know I asked this and people don't like when I do, but please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing. <laughs> All right. Actually, I think I cut that a little too wide. Let me go down a half a quarter inch. Well, actually, let me cut it this way. I'm going to cut it to five and three and three quarter because the other piece is four and five and a quarter. Actually, I might have gone down too far on one of them, but hang on. We shall see. Yeah, that'll work. I think that'll work. But we have to stamp it first. So I, I left the stamp out. We're just going to stamp that big flower in Pool Party. As soon as I find it, here it is. Hi, Donna. I am so glad to see you. Thank you for coming. I was actually very surprised to see your, um, you got your projects in for the Crasher. Crasher. Boy, I cannot talk tonight. Smash your small paper pad project. Now, pool party is light to begin with, so we're going to leave it at full strength. I'm just going to try and get this done here. Straighten this up a little bit this time. Just pressing to make sure I got it even. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then we have one more little thing to stamp and that is friend. And that's out of the same um, stamps that we're going to stamp that in tuxedo black and I already have that on a block along with a little jemmy <laughs> put that over there and tuxedo black where are you there you are I'm surrounded guys by craft stuff oh that was sweet of you just you know Make sure you take time for you to heal. All right. Let's see. We can get it straight. Straight, sort of. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. A little bit crooked, but not bad. I'm just cleaning my stamp. Now we can assemble the inside, and then we're done. You could, you could also use designer paper again, but I just didn't want to cut into another full sheet, and I didn't have any more big enough to um, to fit there. So I'm using pool party cardstock instead on thick whisper white with regular whisper white um, as the mat. Okay, let's put that in our card. And that will be, that looks crooked. No, nope. I think my eyes are crooked. <laughs> Okay, Brandy. Have you guys seen that um, people are getting, I've seen videos now from two people saying they've gotten swatted. Do you know what that means? Did you see Donna? Um, what's her channel name? <laughs> Donna. Creating with Donna or something like that. Not Donna Jackson. The other Donna. Anyway, where you're on a live and you get a phone call while you're on the live and it's the police that like somebody called in, played a prank on YouTube and they actually come in and think you did something wrong. Yeah, they actually come into your house. Sometimes they storm into your house like a SWAT team. That's what it means. A SWAT team, you know, the police because they think you're harming some child or something. That's what the phone calls to them are. 
And um, I have, I do have this little piece here we could have put on. Nah, I think it's too much. All right. Anyway, yeah, it's really nerve wracking. And then, of course, you get off the live, but it's making some people want to stop doing YouTube or at least stop doing YouTube lives because of that. So, yeah, don't give out too much information. I probably have too much given out also. But there's our first card. So that's really pretty, right? So we're going to use the same, um, the same stamp set. But we're going to do something a little different with it. And this will be our second card. We're using some foil this time. <laughs> Well, I guess if they have your phone number or your address and can find out your phone number, then, um, or your address, really, all they have to do is call the police in that area and, um, you know, just, it's a fake call. They can get in big trouble for doing that. So, anyway, yeah, they have to know your address because the police have to know where to go for the house and then they I guess can look up your phone number if they don't have your phone number so it's it's pretty scary and why would people do that and apparently it's it's done a lot more in the gaming community but they come out and do it for uh, others also so this is the next one the focal is obviously the designer series paper this is champagne foil sheet behind it which I'm sorry if it's glare, glaring on you but I wanted you to be able to see all the foil see so this is the Parisian Blossom um, foil sheet. Now, I have already punched, um, actually die cut a bunch of these out and stamped and die cut some of these. This is out of the Stitch So Sweetly dies in the, you know, I'm, I've been saying before that I love these. But this time I decided we'd use these two little dies here. So I die cut this in the foil and then this, which we're going to have to do, is on that little thank you. And the little thank you is not out of Forever Blossoms, I don't think. No. Let me see what I got it out of. One of these two. It's out of the Thoughtful Bloom. So it is right here. And we're going to use that in the next card as well. So our base this time is Pool Party, A2. These are all A2 tonight, regular size. And then, you see, I don't like to waste my foil, so I did go ahead, <laughs> I did go ahead and use the Stitch So Sweetly dies and cut out a um, rectangle. But I already cut out two of these from this piece of foil under here and I have it in here to use. So first thing we have to do is put down our foil paper because <laughs> it's going to be hidden. Yes, it is scary, Lisa. It makes people not want to uh, do lives, certainly not give out too much information, but you know, if you're in, if you do, and the one, the one lady that got it is, is a, uh, well, she's bigger than I am as far as subscribers by a long shot. She's like almost triple what I have, but um, she probably is triple what I have, but she's in the crafting community still. So, you know, we, we do swaps and friend mail and stuff and it's, it, it is really scary. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? I thought about maybe doing an inlay in there, but I'm, I'm not going to. Now, I'm not going to use wet glue to put this down. I'm actually going to use my snail because every time I use wet glue to put it on foil, I get, um, I'm going to bring in my mat here, which is really cruddy, but um, I get glue all over the foil and then it smudges it and I, I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> I'm just going to go down the edges, and if I get any off the edge, that's okay, because I can just go like this, and it won't stick to this mat, you know. And now I'm doing down the center, but it's not going to hold real good there. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see if I can get it centered pretty good. I think I got, mm, well, pretty good. As long as the part I cut out doesn't show. <laughs> All right, so then in the dies for this, there's this branch. Um, did I show you those? I don't think I did. What did I do with them? Oh, did I put the dies to this? Oh, here they are. Sorry about that. I took them out to do the other one. So here's all the dies that come with this bundle. You get this branch thing. This is what cuts out that flower that we did on the first card. Then you get all these little cherry blossoms for those. You get these little things, which are meant to be the centers. Like if you can see these flowers, they have the little stamen in the center. You get all these little leaves and things. And you also get the, uh, a separate individual flower that you can stamp. And then these little... I don't know what those things are called. Let's see if they can, I can show them to you on here. I guess they're little buds like that. But I, I die kind of once without stamping that and they looked ridiculous. So I guess they look a lot better if you stamp it first. Because <laughs> they look like just a little club to me, you know. So anyway, I die cut this twice. I die cut it in pool party and then um, champagne foil. And I'm just going to actually glue it down on here. And you have to go real light touch with the glue. If I can get it to come out. Hang on. There, okay. I don't want it to blob. That's why I was testing it off. Even that's a little much. So you just want a real light touch. Now I know... Uh, my up up line she uses a sponge technique with that silicone mat and a sponge and a little bit of glue on anything thin like this I just ugh, I don't know so just a real light touch of glue okay it's glued to me I'm just going to put that right along the edge over here. And then, oops, stay down. That just raises it up a little bit more. Good night, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. So these I just um, die cut in petal pink. And I have five of them. And what we're going to do with those is we're going to bring in the dark petal pink um, Stampin' Blend. Oops. And I don't know if you can see none on that one. There's like little indents. I'm just going to take the dark petal pink and go over those little indents just to give it a little something, something. <laughs> something, something little something something I tried there is one you know a little petal you can stamp but it doesn't stamp onto these well it's it's meant to use the other separate little die cut um, die for it these are a little odd shaped petals so and I think on the first card I actually had six but we're gonna make do with five this time I'm using the back of this one because this I tried to stamp that other thing on there. It did not, did not look right. And it'll be fine. We'll just put this one on the bottom most. Uh-oh. Um, let me see. Hang on. Oh, never mind. Nothing important. I'm so excited, guys. I'm getting to go to a concert April 3rd. And I haven't been to a concert in so long. I'm so excited. But its I've never been to one where you have to stand the whole night. There's no seats. But I figure we're all going to be dancing anyway. Hi, Kat. Welcome. Boy, I'm getting lots of people tonight. 
Okay, so I have my five petals and I'll show you what we'll do with them in a minute. Now I have three leaves, which I did stamp and we're just going to kind of, oops, crumple them a little bit and we're going to crumple the flowers a little bit in a minute too. You can wet them, but since I stamped on them, the dye will bleed. So I don't want to wet them this time. And I don't want to crinkle them too much. Just bend them a little bit to give them some shape, you know, along the leaf line in there. Oops. Now these, you could either, let me move some things out of the way here. Um, you could either crinkle them too, or, oops, I have, I have my ribbon pins in my mat here. I'm going to put them in a dish. Um, we're going to get a stylus, which see my mat's all dirty too. <laughs> now, your take your pick tool comes with a stylus. I just don't have it on either one of mine. So I have this one I had gotten, I think it's Tuesday morning in a pack of three. So this is not a Stampin' Up stylus. And I'm just going to indent the middle a little bit. I'm not going to do the leaves actually. The petals, I mean. I just want to have them go a little bit. So this is the piercing mat, and I just have it covered in paper, and that is a Stampin' Up product. Mostly I use it covered in paper to use with my, um, what do you call it, the clear stamps. Okay. All right, and then these, I don't know if we'll use these. We might. I didn't use them on the first one. On the first one, I used the champagne um, rhinestones, which are no longer available right now to you. So we might just use these little center pieces. And I'm going to actually glue them, but I want to place them first and see where I want them. See, we have two empty stems, so we definitely want some on there like that and then I just go down the stem oops except my finger has a little sticky on it so <laughs> so we're just gonna do this how are you doing cat thank you clay and I think five will be just fine I might move a little one up here so always play with your placement before you start gluing. And the leaves are up a little bit on the, uh, the petals. I keep saying leaves because we need to tuck our, our petals in too. But we're going to actually do that after we glue these down because we're only going to glue the center around the center. So we're just going to put that down there. Maybe. Now, which one was it? This one. <laughs> of course, it's not going to cooperate because I'm live. <laughs> All right. Six is probably better, even though I usually like to use odd numbers. I love this paper, this, this piece in particular, <laughs> I really love it. And one more. That'll work. That guy doesn't want to stick. Stick, I say, stick. And now, these we're gonna, two of them we're gonna glue down, and one we're gonna glue its stem down, but we're gonna, bump it up on dimensional, mini dimensionals. So let's see, I'm gonna try for the same, similar placement. So we're just kind of go in here. I got it, it's gonna go off the, uh, eh, maybe like, eh, maybe like that. There we go, there we go. And then one down at the bottom. Kat, did you see my, um, you doing okay? I missed Judy's live. Did you see our smash that small paper pad, uh, my video this morning? I made something that you were part of the inspiration from. 
<laughs> I just thought I'd let you know that. Okay, let me get some mini glue dots or some pieces of glue dots. Mm, let's see. These are kind of big. I'm going to take a mini edge and cut it in half, I think. Yeah. I'm just going to put these. Sometimes they want to stick to me instead of the paper. Anybody else have that problem? <laughs> okay. So we're going to put a little glue on this end here. There you go. Yep. See, it stuck to me instead of the paper. I'm going to kind of tuck this in here. Oops, maybe here. Let's see where I want it. I think I want it kind of like this. Mm, not like there, like that. That's better. Okay. Except I forgot to put the little stamen things in. That's okay. Yeah, we'll use them. We'll glue them in. We might still use champagne dots somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, I'm behind on stuff, too. I have to, oops, I really have to cram again tomorrow. I've been cramming for two and a half days because I got a, I got a couple days behind last week in my schedule. And that's a no-no these days, unless I get sick or something. And I don't know how I did. I think I was just tired a couple of days for some reason. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I like the rhinestones better than these things, but oh well. Too late now. And one more. Oops, you didn't come out of the bag. Kept everything in a little baggie so I wouldn't lose the pieces. But some of them are rebels and they don't want to come out. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Polly. Welcome. Glad to have you. I'm getting a lot of people I don't usually see. Wonderful, wonderful. Oops. So we're making some cards. At the end, I'll show the ones I already did. Okay, so now as per this card. Oops, that's the wrong one. That is the first one we did. Where's the other coffin? Here it is. <laughs> I'm a mess. Now we're going to put this on, but we have to stamp our thank you. And we need our ribbon. And I just did like a banner almost. Um, ribbon. So let me snip a piece of ribbon. Way too long, I'm sure. So that's what we'll do first. Nope, probably just about right. And we'll get a glue dot. And we'll need more than one, but we'll put one on to start. So first thing is we need our placement, which will be right about here, I think. So I'm going to go up about in the middle of that. Okay, and now I'll just get another glue dot. There we go. And then this goes up on dimensionals. And I'll snip a few more of these off. I'm using the edges. <laughs> Hi, Rare Roo. Welcome. Thank you, Philomena. I'm doing good, Polly. I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. I'm still here. <laughs> and I have my kitty. But truth be told, my son is her favorite. <laughs> she loves my son. Well, I think part of it is because he's got 
the warmest room in the house and she likes to be warm for sure all right this is going to go about here and then we just have to stamp thank you so and um, then we're going to die cut it with this which is out of the stitch so sweetly dies in the mini catalog which i mentioned before and this is for the inside and this is for the inside and i'm missing oh here's a piece for the inside nope mm. i think i lost the other piece for the inside too oh my goodness anyway you need a scrap of whisper white here we go so we're gonna use a scrap oops And we're going to stamp it in tuxedo black. We could use like soft suede or pool party. I tried and I didn't like it. It was a little too light because we have so much pool party going on with it already. So I just felt like the black stood out. Oops, that's sending hugs. That's not the right one. Where are you? Here's it. Here it is. Sorry, wrong stamp. Sending hugs is for the next one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you definitely should get some sleep. I mean, I appreciate you stopping in, but take care of you. Well, I don't want anybody getting sick just watching me kind of thing. <laughs> you know? But I appreciate your support. And for those just joining, don't forget to give the thumbs up, please, to help my channel. Thank you. Thank you in advance. All right. Bye. All right, I have to turn around and die cut that itty bitty little greeting. So cute. Be right back. I'm just going to leave and I'm just going right here behind where I was. Because I can't fit my die cutting machine on my desk. There is no room, especially when my laptop is here to do the live. <laughs> I don't do it on my phone. I do it on my laptop with a um, separate webcam. Okay, so there's that, and I'm going to put that down with glue dots, too, on top of the foil. My glue dots are getting low, so it's a good thing to use them. <laughs> One more in the middle. There we go. And I'm not going to bump it up again because it's already bumped up. Okay, now on the inside, what I did on the other one is I had a strip of foil, which I do have. And I had a strip of designer paper, which I did have, <laughs> but I have misplaced it. You know what I think? I think I had it and I threw it back in the paper pad, so I'm not going to find it. I'll just put the foil on for now, and if I find that later, I'll put it on. And that's it. I didn't put any other sentiment or stamps on the inside of this one like I did on the first one. Um, because thank yous, you know, I I don't know about you guys, but usually with a thank you, I tend to write more than I do with like for a birthday card or something. I don't know why. I just bop that right off. Trying to get it on straight. And it's still not. There we go. I had to snip a little bit off the end, which is what I'm trying to get on straight for now. See, I got that all smudgy. I'll have to go over that with a cloth later. <sighs> Thank you. Hi, Renee. Oh, yeah. Definitely. If you can't sleep. <laughs> Usually, I'm... Um, if I have trouble staying asleep, I usually don't have trouble falling asleep. Well, that's not always true. Sometimes I do. But sometimes my eyes are just so tired, I go to sleep. But then I'm three or four hours, I'm up. And then if I can't go to sleep, I don't, I can't really always get up and craft or anything. Because I don't have that much energy, you know. But So that's usually when I watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. So that is our second card. And, oops, I just found the other sheet of paper. Woohoo! Yay. 
So we'll put that in. And then these are the first cards. Oh, we forgot to put our bling on too. We had to put some bling on. Okay, I found this strip. So I think it's the right size. Yep. So we'll put that on. <clears throat> I use up my little bits as embellishment type things. Most of the time. Okay, so let me get the champagne jemmies out. Yeah. We didn't use them on the flowers, but we'll use, we'll just use like maybe one here this time. So I'll use kind of a bigger one. Um, we'll use, we'll use some more. <laughs> we need some more. Put a little one over here too, maybe down there. And then another, like a medium one, I think. Maybe up in this blue area, up in this blue area there. Okay, that's it. That's it. Isn't that pretty? This is the Parisian um, Blossoms Designer Series paper, champagne foil, and the Forever Blossoms bundle in the mini catalog. Here's what the dies look like, and here's what this looks like. Beautiful, beautiful set. I actually like that better than the other Paris set um, myself, because I like flowers, you know, you know me, right? And then I also use the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which I have to put away, my two dies, which go here, which has those label dies as well as these stitched so sweetly rectangles i really love the rectangles they're my fave my faves my new faves there we go and they come out like you know like that so all right we're gonna do something a little different for the third card oh my goodness what's going on here i don't know people are tweeting at me and i'm not gonna listen <laughs> All right, so for this one, we're going to go a little bit on the bright side. And because these colors have been sort of subdued, you know, I have to move some stuff out of the way first. So bear with me. Uh, I have to get back here and take a sip of tea if you don't mind. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Polly. That color is called Petal Pink. Um, it's this, yeah, Petal Pink. It's sort of a peachy pink. It's good also in um, skin tone and stuff when you're doing skin tone. Maybe not the paper, but the Stampin' Blends. So, yeah, really pretty. And the other color is Pool Party, which I also happen to love. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do a little making our own background paper and we're going to use thoughtful, thoughtful blooms and tags in bloom for the sentiment. Um, and also this little framey thing. And these, these go with a punch, two punches, but we're going to use the one I don't, I haven't used much yet. And we're going to use this little leaf pattern and this little flower and we're going to use sending hugs though from here and we're also going to use the layered leaves 3d embossing folder okay brandy oh no that's fine thank you for coming if you stamp on vellum you have to use um you can do it not on that textured vellum. It probably wouldn't hold because of the ridge, the bumps in it. But um, like on that first card, that vellum has bumps. But yes, I have actually stamped, not for flowers, but I have stamped. But you have to use like um, stays on ink, something that's made for vellum, ink made for vellum. These dye based inks will not work. They won't stay on it. Okay, let me get these out of the way and show you what we're going to do. Or something like it. This is what we're going to do. 
So I just basically took a piece of Whisper White and I stamped all these leaves and little flowers. I went bright with Melon Mambo and Mango Melody. I embossed the Mango Melody with the Layered Leaves 3D embossing folder. And I used the Starburst Punch, which Metal Scrap and Chick says it's her favorite. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite punches too. And then we're also going to use the new Label Me Fancy Punch, which is in the mini catalog. This is the one, it has a label, but it also has, so you can use it for tags, to a slot and a dot, which you can, you know, if I wanted to make this into a tag, I would put it in the side and punch the holes that way. But we're just going to use the label part of it tonight. And we're going to use, oops. Uh, this um, this is another one of my favorites, this flax ribbon. And I just frayed it at the ends a little bit, make it kind of organic-y looking. And then inside, oh, and here I use the Thoughtful Bloom Punch, which is a celebration item. And actually, these are both celebration stamp sets. This one is in the current celebration good from now till March 31st or while supplies last, free with a $50 purchase. If you want the coordinating punch, that's free with a $100 purchase. And that I'm told is gonna carry over to the um, annual catalog, but I don't, I don't know how they're gonna do that, if they're gonna just make it an online type thing or put it in the catalog, so I don't know. This one uh, will be available as a celebration starting March 3rd and through the 31st of March. So just so you know. And the embossing folders in the catalog right now, the annual catalog at one number 152321. It's layered leaves. And I think I already embossed that so I can show you what it comes out like. And it's weird to have leaves on Mango um, Melody, but there it is. Good night, Rare Roo. Yes, try and get some sleep. Thank you for coming by. And thank you, everybody, for the thumbs ups. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Let me make room again. And the first thing we have to do is I already punched these little, I mean, stamped these little flowers in Melon Mambo on Melon Mambo. I'm just going to punch one of them out with the punch. And then we have to do our stamping, our other stamping. So I need a piece of Whisper White. Um, and I have all kinds of ink here to use. I have Garden Green, which we'll use first. Melon Mambo. Mango Melody and Gorgeous Grape, and these three are out of the bright color family in the annual catalog, and this one's out of the Regals, but it goes. I could have used Granny Apple Green, but I felt like using Garden Green for some reason. I don't know. So remember I said we're going to use this thing here, <laughs> this leaf thing, and we're just going to do an all-over stamp on the background paper kind of thing. How am I doing on time? Okay. Hi, Maria. Welcome. It is a really pretty embossing folder, and I don't use it as much as I should. So we're just going to go randomly with this all over different places. Kind of off the page and on the page and everywhere. Down the middle. I've got to be careful. I have um, let me get a let me get a tissue and wipe some of that ink off the block because I don't want it to get where I don't want it. <laughs> okay, and then we'll do some here and over here. Let me turn that a little. Creepy vines, huh? <laughs> I like doing backgrounds. I think they're fun. Different backgrounds and things. And you can rest assured that no two are ever going to be the same. 
I'm just going to add one more little bit up in this corner. Maybe if I can get there. Boop. Good enough. I like it. I like it like that. I like it like that. I am out of space. Hang on. Okay. To clean my stamp. So that is now I need garden green for one more bit. And that is the frame for the sentiment. But I have to do that on a scrap of Whisper White. So I'm going to put it over here. And it, it sort of looks viney too. Hopefully I got that okay. There you go. It's not real clean lines along the edge, and it's meant to be like that. It sort of looks vines, like vines, too. And I'm actually going to go ahead and stamp in that with Melon Mambo, because that's the next color anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stamp the sentiment, and then I can punch that out and get it out of the way. Sending hugs. Where did I put you? Here you are. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Hi, June. Wow, I'm getting lots of people here. Thank you for joining us. I'll show you when I'm done this card, the other two that we made if you didn't see them. The first two were done using the Forever Blossoms bundle, which is part of the Parisian Blossom Suite. Okay, so let me punch this. I can figure out what I just did with that punch. That I, oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> and um, this was using the Thoughtful Blooms and the uh, Tags in Bloom stamp sets, both in Celebration or Celebration 2, which is coming soon. Okay, so that's that. And get that out of the way. Now we still need this because we need our little flower. Now, what I did on the first card is um, I stamped in Melon Mambo this same flower here, but I didn't like the placement of it. So that's how I decided to make it dimensional and put the same design, but stamped on... Melon Mambo and then punched out um, over that and that looks good. So I'm going to do the same thing. I think it looks good anyway. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to stamp this flat, bigger flower up here and then the rest will be little flowers. And I'm trying to get it so the stems mostly go in between the petals. But that is a problem with this one stem. Um, and I don't know, last time I fit, there's a solid flower too, but I'm not going to do that this time. Sorry for my reach. Because I'm going to cover it anyway, and we'll do that later. So now I'm going to also add one more little, even if it gets buried, um, pink flower. Actually, hmm, I think I'm going to make that one yellow. And this one yellow and this one purple. I think I'll just do this one pink because it's going to get buried. But Okay, that's all I'm going to do in pink. Melon Mambo. And we're going to use the same, I'm sorry, we're going to use the same little stamp. And these are out of Thoughtful Blooms. And one more yellow. And the yellow I'm using is Melon Mambo. No, I'm sorry. Mango Melody. I always get those confused. Hmm. Actually, this time, because the placement's a little different, I'm going to go down here and stamp off the edge. If I can get it placed right there. And I think that's it for yellow for right now. I might come back and do more. Mango Melody. 
And then we're going to use Gorgeous Grape. Nice bright purple. And I am cleaning my stamp in between. And we'll do a purple one down here. Maybe there. And I guess we'll do one more pink right there. And then that'll be it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I think it's pretty. And it's my card, so I guess that's what matters. <laughs> Let me put these two colors back. But I sure would like for you guys to like it too. Because sometimes you get my cards. Sometimes you do. All right. Sorry if my head's in the way, but I'm trying to see where the little vine stems are. That one didn't get perfect, but it's okay. It's close enough. Okay. Let me close this up and then we'll start assembling again. So we have Melon Mambo. Mango Melody through the 3D leaves embossing folder and our beautiful paper that we just did. And we're just going to put that a little to the left. Not much, really. Actually, maybe this time I won't. I might just center it. I put it a little further to the left, but I think my piece was a little smaller on the last one. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just glue it down in the center. Thank you, June. I know, <laughs> me too, but you know, it gives it a little texture around the edges and it's leaves, which is sort of a continuation of the little leaves on the pattern um, that we just made. So anytime you have flowers, little, little flowers or little leaves or something in your stamp set, you can make your own designs and so I just wanted to show you that leaf one, though, because it's kind of weird looking in the stamp set. If you got the stamp set, so you would know how to use it. And I feel like this little flower here works better with it than the bigger one. This is the bigger one. In the, it, well, that one lined up pretty good, actually, this time. It didn't the first time I did it. But we're going to cover that one up anyway. Now, I am using wet glue because whenever I have embossing folders... I don't feel like snail will hold the paper down onto the embossing and also the embossing onto the other paper as well. And I kind of thought at first the Mango Melody with the Melon Mambo, boy that's a tongue twister isn't it, is a, um, a sort of an odd combo but I actually really like it and it draws out the colors in the flowers. Okay so now we're just going to take our thumbnail and crunch this flower up a little bit. Actually, I think what I did is I sort of smushed it. There we go. And then we're just going to glue it down in the center of this one. Right over it so that the petals are up. And you can kind of see the flower a little bit under it. I'm just going to hold that in place for a minute. Maybe I didn't bend them enough this time. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to get our, what is this called? Whisper White Flax, Flax Ribbon. And snip a piece off of that. And I do want it to go pretty much across. So that length again. Approximately. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that down. And I'm using glue dots again. Sorry, my chair squeaking. <laughs> Squeaky chair. Everything in this house is getting old. Sheesh. Me included. But I refuse to believe it. <laughs> okay, so... Um, there we 
go. Put that one down and I'll fray those ends in a minute. And then I just want to put one about right there. Didn't take. There we go. And you could use snail because this ribbon's wide enough, but I just didn't feel like it. Ugh, come on, go off. There, Ugh, almost. There we go. And one more down here towards the end. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Using my point of my scissors. There we go. Okay. Oh, nope. Still on the scissors. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now I need a starburst punch and melon mambo. So here's the starburst punch. And do I have a scrap big enough for that? I don't know. Probably. Melon mambo. Yep. I think I can get one out of there maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. Yay. Nope. It messed up. Darn. I need a different piece. Too good to be true. Oh, well. I'll still use that, but not for this one. I'll use it on something I can cut the edge off, maybe. <laughs> and there we go. That was the Starburst Punch. That's in the annual catalog, number 143717. For those that just joined, this is all Stampin' Up! products, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. The February host code is 9RTE3BRA for anyone that would like to place an order under $150. That would be great in February, and that number will be changing in March 1st. So, um, it is celebration time with Stampin' Up!, which I've explained probably quite a bit. But basically, the more you spend, the more items you can get for free. $50 and up, you can get free stuff. All right, we're just going to put this here. We're going to glue down our sending hugs. And then we're going to add bling. <laughs> I thought the green outline of that goes with the vines. And the bling we're going to use is actually Melon Mambo. And it's part of the Noble Peacock. We call this Melon Mambo, I don't know. To me, it's just a pink, but it's pretty. And this is Melon Mambo, so we're going to use it. We're going to use a big one right in the middle of that flower. And then we use a little one down here on the tag. And I guess we'll use a medium-ish one, maybe here. And that should do it for the front. Pretty, huh? Pretty bright and cheerful. And then the inside of this one, I did stamp more vine. So let me get the other Whisper White. I put the garden green away already, too. Gee. <laughs> What's very sheer? It's very sheer, isn't it? Isn't it? What's very sheer? The ribbon, the flax ribbon, it's, it's flax. And, oh, I forgot to fray the edges anyway. These little, you could actually pull these um, apart. I will say, be careful though, because that nylon or whatever that is holding these strands together, is really strong and I've actually gotten like almost like a paper cut from the not tonight but um from the stuff in the it's like real tiny thin fishing line almost that's holding it together and that can cut you if you're not careful but I think one time I, I went like swiping down the ribbon or something and it just put a nice little paper cut in my hand so there's that so let me get my leafy looking thing out again uh, let's see. 
we want it so that the center part can show so that we have a bit of a flower on there a little bit more all right and we'll just go right about there and there we go and then we'll put another little flower in there always have to finish the inside and if you do the envelopes at the same time you can do them too but i usually don't so back to melon mambo and the little flower I'm just trying to make sure I get the stem placement right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I was wanting to do some bright cheery this time instead of the more muted colors like the first two cards. <laughs> so, on the inside, we're just going to put a plain piece of mango melody see it's really hard because this is melon mambo and this is mango melody mmm -M -M -M, right you know because it's mmm so pretty <laughs> mmm -M -M -M, mm, so pretty yeah so ready for spring well you know what here are we the last three days well i don't know if i can, yeah i will the last three days have been in the 50s like yesterday was 53 and today was supposed to be 57 however it was a rainy day today so i didn't really go out and enjoy the 57 and then tomorrow we're heading back down to 39 and 20s in the nighttime so you know we're dropping 20 degrees for the daytime temperature and 20 degrees for the nighttime temperature too so we're back down to winter again starting tomorrow <laughs> Uh, but it's supposed to be sunny so you know this is the third card um i will show the first two in a moment i'm not going to do a giveaway on the cards this time because i owe people cards and i need to send them out to people that i owe so yes that is the third card what time are we at oh it's good timing so I was thinking we might try another one, but I'll save that for another day. I was just going to play with pigment sprinkles and stuff, but I'll do that in maybe in a separate video or something. Or I thought about doing a premiere or something, but I can't do it. I don't think I can do it um, maybe Friday or on the weekend, but not tomorrow for sure. Okay, so there's our third card using Thoughtful Blooms and tags in bloom both celebration items and the little thoughtful blooms punch which is in celebration and the label me fancy which is in the mini catalog not celebration and the flax ribbon is in the annual catalog as is the layered leaves embossing folder and then this was our first card that we did using the vellum that will be available as a celebration item for $50 purchase with you know you, if you buy $50 you can get the the um, new vellum which is called so very vellum starting March 3rd it will be available and there's soft sea foam highland heather and pool party are the colors beautiful paper and the paper under it is the Parisian Blossoms, this beautiful paper is on the second card and this more pale paper, which I don't have an extra piece out, so I'm not going to dig. But both this paper and the background paper on this came from that same code. And these flowers and these came from the same stamp and dies. This came from the Forever Blossoms stamp bundle. And the dyes that coordinate are called the, I don't know, cherry blossom dyes, I think. Let me turn it right side out. <laughs> yeah, cherry blossom dyes. Oh, I'm starting to get to know them. Beautiful bundle. 
and it's in the Parisian suite, but there's two stamp bundles. This is one of them. The other one has the Eiffel Tower and such, but I really love this for spring. The cherry blossoms always remind me of spring. And I keep meaning to go to the Washington, D.C. area, usually like the first week of April. They're, they're in season, so, but we'll see. This year's been kind of wacky. Oh, I forgot to put more bling on the um, flowers on this one. Sorry about that, guys. Where's those little pink rhinestones? I thought something looked off. I had put centers in the flowers on each of these, so I have to do that. To have to have to. And what I used is the, this is um, Old Olive. Yeah, Old Olive for the yellow ones. And Gorgeous Grape in the Gorgeous Grape. Oops, didn't want to come up. So lots of bling bling. And another Melon Mambo on the Melon Mambo. There we go. That's better. I feel better now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paige. Thank you, Philomena. Thank you, June. I appreciate that, everyone. So if you like it, definitely leave the thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed it tonight. I had a lot of fun making these. I love floral cards and stuff. So that's right up my alley. And beautiful bundle. This beautiful bundle. Thoughtful Blooms is more playful bundle. But it, um, not bundle set in celebration but it's if you get this bundle and maybe embellishments or something you'll probably be eligible to get that stamp set the thoughtful bloom stamp set that we used on this one which is free with a $50 purchase so really pretty and it's got this decorative thing too which I haven't used yet we use the thank you um we didn't use it has a congratulations and some other sentiments and some even tinier little flowers and centers and leaves and things so lots more to be done with that this one can be used for weddings and stuff too um i was going to use cherish every moment of this day but to do that one, I'd have to turn the card this way, and I wanted to use the longer flower, so it didn't work for me tonight. So I used this, you mean so much to me. Um, and this All of Me Loves All of You, that was a song a couple years ago, right? The words to the song. Good night. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you, Philomena. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Polly. And thank you, Clay. Wow, thank you everyone. So anyway, that is it for tonight. I have a messy desk to clean up and um, um, don't forget, first person that places a $50 order will get this, but the one that's brand new, not the one I used because this is no longer available. And I was going to do a project with this card kit soon, but now I really shouldn't because it's no longer available for you guys. So I'll have to pick a different kit to use. Alrighty. Yeah, I really like the vellum. I like colored vellum. I like vellum. Thank you, Renee. All right, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your evening or rest of your week. And... Let's see. Next up for me is on the 27th. We have the stickier side of crafting coming up, followed by the hashtag use it up 2020 on the 28th. And then the 29th, I think I have two or three videos coming on the last day of the month. So be sure to come back every day except tomorrow. <laughs> you can come back tomorrow and rewatch this or something else. But um, yeah. So bye for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me type my little bye-bye thing in here. <laughs>